Welcome to month nine of training, CPA plus Pinterest automation. This month's training will be very special and very powerful. Why Pinterest? Because it has become the number one most powerful network for bloggers and marketers to get site traffic. This month will be focused on building up massive Pinterest accounts using 100% automation. By doing this, it will eventually become a set it and forget it method. What all will you need? You'll need an ad work media account, a niche offer, a WordPress blog plus domain name for a landing page, a Tailwind account, this is for automation, a Google Chrome plugin called Pin Down, and a Pinterest account. Let's begin. Log into AdWork Media and choose a niche offer. If you are not signed up with AdWork Media yet, you definitely want to do that. You can also use other CPA networks to get single offers, but AdWork Media is the best in my opinion, so I highly recommend logging into AdWork Media if you already have an account. Okay, so what we want to do, what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and log into AdWork Media so you can watch me choose a hot niche offer. When it comes to Pinterest, you're going to see that, and I'm going to tell you that, you know, there's different hot niches on Pinterest. You know, there's tons of niches, all kinds of niches, but there's some that you would probably choose over others. So what we're going to do whenever I log into AdWork Media is just look for that. Look for the hottest of the hottest niches, and that's what we're about to do right now. Let me go ahead and log in to my dummy account. Okay, now that you see that I'm logged into AdWork Media, what I'll do now since I am in the United States is click on Top US Campaigns. After that, what I will do is I will scroll down here and on the top non-incent. We want to roll with the non-incent campaigns, not the incentive ones. We're going to roll with the non-incent campaigns. And basically what we are going to do right here is choose a direct offer to really promote. One that I already see and know that I do good like crazy is this Michael Kors offer. And I say that because fashion is probably one of the top three niches on Pinterest. And also another one that I see that I do very well is Survey Junkie. And making money online and opportunities is very, very huge on Pinterest as well. So I can roll with either one of these. You know, either one of these. And another thing you want to do is think long terms and think about the offers because sometimes offers can expire. And what I mean is, like, let's say if I'm building a Pinterest account around this one fashion offer, if there's no more fashion offers in case this offer expire, then I'm just going to have a fashion um, Pinterest account and not really too many offers to really put in front of the traffic. So you want to grab an offer that's related to other offers. That's what I personally like to do. You know, it's completely up to you, but that's what I personally like to do. So I'm going to grab an offer. We're going to probably grab one. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to grab one, um, one of the survey offers. Let's grab one of the survey offers. So for this specific example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the survey junkie offer. And I'm going to do that because I get paid 88 cent per conversion and you see 35 cent EPCs. That's very, very high. You know, even if you can get a 25 cent EPC, that's nice also. So I'm going to go for the survey junkie one because there's multiple and see inbox dollars over here, but it's 24 cent, but that's still good enough to replace survey junkie in case um, they remove Survey Junkie or it expires something. That's good enough to replace it, and it has to do with surveys as well. So what I'm going to do for this example is just choose Survey Junkie. So no matter what your country is, you want to check out the top offers within your country, and you want to choose an offer that has other related offers just in case that one expire, or if you want to choose one that don't have related offers on AdWork Media, but you may be a part of you know, another company like CPA Grip or CPA Build, and they have other related offers, that's fine also. It's just completely up to you. But I'm just talking about if you are only with AdWork Media, you definitely want to have related offers. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and roll with Survey Junkie for my niche. So what you will see me doing is basically attaching this affiliate link to my landing page whenever I create it. 
and that's exactly how the conversions are going to be made but that's all you have to do when it comes to choosing your niche offer for this very powerful exclusive method grab a niche domain name okay i'm over here on namecheap.com it's time to find a matching domain name to go with my survey junkie offer this domain name don't have to be completely matching it so i don't have to try to find surveyjunkie.net or nothing like that and you're not even allowed to do that. You're not allowed to use the name of the company of the offer that you're promoting, but you can use something like survey101.com or just something like that. You never wanna use the name of the company that you are promoting because that's completely against their terms. So let's go ahead and find something. I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can find one. survey101. Survey101 dot, you know, can really be dot anything to be honest with you. Dot XYZ is only a dollar. Dot site is a dollar and twenty eight cent. Dot club, I'll probably let's see, let's roll with dot club survey one hundred one dot club. I'll add that to the cart and I'll purchase this domain name right here, survey one hundred one dot club. And it's making it sound like it's a survey club. So this is all you have to do. You have to you know grab you a nice niche domain that'll match up with your offer. Because remember, you're not direct linking anyways. You're going to build a landing page with WordPress. And with this specific method, I highly recommend WordPress because Pinterest really trusts WordPress. And I just highly recommend using WordPress over, over everything else. So let's go ahead and get this checked out real quick. See if I got a card on file. Let's see if I can use this card right here. As you can see, that checkout process is now complete. So what you will see me doing in the next video is adding the name servers to um, to my domain name. The name servers, of course, you may already know by now. The name service is from the hosting, my hosting um, account with HostGator. And it basically links your hosting account with the domain name. So I'll be adding the name servers and also adding this domain name to my web hosting account. And we will begin building our very nice one and only landing page for this survey junkie offer build a wordpress landing page all right it's time for action it is time for action because we have to go ahead and get our landing page completely built but before i can do that i have to go ahead and add my domain name that i just purchased over here survey club dot i mean survey 101.club i gotta go ahead and add that domain name to my hosting account and also add the name service so let's go ahead and do that right now Let's copy, let's go to manage. So after we go to manage, let's find the domain name. Click manage again, copy this domain name and we will go ahead and get it added. Let's see, where's add-ons? There we go, add-on domains. Okay, we're gonna add that domain name and it should auto fill everything after you do that. I'm not sure if you already have a hosting account, but by now, of course you should. Let's go ahead and go back. But you know, if you if you don't have a hosting account, you just gotta go ahead and get a hosting account and, and just add your domain name in, just like I'm doing by clicking add on domains. Okay, that domain name is added now. What I'll do now is I'll go down here and I'll put custom DNS. Go over here to HostGator. Go down to primary name server number one. I'll copy it, paste it. Primary name server number two. I mean, secondary name server. Okay, copy it and paste it. After that, I'll go ahead and save it. Now, it's going to take a few minutes. It says up to 48 hours, but it never takes that long. It could take up to an hour, though, but it's going to take a few minutes for, for basically everything to update so it'll you know make the connection between hostgator and namecheap you know that i'm adding the domain overall it's going to take a few minutes but in the meantime while i am waiting i'm going to go ahead and do a wordpress installer so i can install wordpress this is all you have to do inside of any hosting account no matter if you're with hostgator or whoever just go ahead and in install um, wordpress directly from the from your cpanel so let me find survey Let's see, there we go, survey101.club. I'll click next. 
Survey 101, admin, type my name in, one of my emails. Make sure that's saved good. Okay, let's see. Terms of service agreement. Okay, what I can do now is I can go ahead and install. And that install is going through. There we go. So now that we have our WordPress blog installed, before I even go to survey101.club, it's not even ready yet most likely, but it'll be ready in just a few minutes. So I'll personally have to, you know, pause the video and come back to it in just a few seconds. But our host, our, um, our WordPress blog is now installed. And of course I might, I might use the term blog, but what I really mean is, um, you know, landing page because WordPress is considered a blog. So, you know, our, our landing page or blog, whatever I refer to, just know that I'm talking about our landing page that we are creating. But our landing page is about to be ready in just a second. Whenever you see me log into WordPress and design it, make sure you follow every single step during the design process because there, there will be some plugins that you need to install in order to make everything really you know powerful and make everything really happen overall. So make sure you follow every step whenever I finally get logged into WordPress. But for now, we have to wait a few minutes and log into WordPress in just a second to begin creating our beautiful landing page. Okay, so I've waited more than a few and I believe we should be ready to log into WordPress now. Let's go ahead and get logged in. Let me copy the password to click log in. The username is admin. Yep. We are now ready. Whenever the login page comes up like this, that means you are ready to rock and roll. If you get an error or something, then that means that it's not yet ready. You have to wait, you know, 20, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour for the time to go by. And after that, you should be ready. But we are ready right now. So let's go ahead and get logged in. Click login. So we are done over here on the domain part of things. And it says coming soon. Let me go ahead and get that saved. It says coming soon. So what, what I want to do is, what you want to go ahead and do also is your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. Once you're ready to launch your site, click here. I'm going to just go ahead and launch it anyways because I don't want to you know, forget. What we'll have to do is we'll have to install some plugins. Let's go ahead right now and get the Yoast SEO plugin installed. Let's do that right now. Add new. Yoast. Of course, um, even though we're doing this with social media, it's very, very important that you um, install Yoast. As you can see, Yoast is right here ready to install. So all I got to do is click install now. They wanted me to run a little update and they said my WordPress was outdated. So I had to click update, but we're ready to go now. So activate after you click install, click activate. Okay, as you can see, we're good to go with Yoast SEO. And once again, that plugin is for the search engines. It's, for, you know, to help you out with SEO if you didn't know what that meant. So let's go ahead and add another plugin. And you don't have to do anything once you install it. Let's look for Elementor. And this is going to actually be our page builder. Okay, Elementor page builder install now. Okay, so Elementor is now installed. What I like to do is I like to go and delete any kind of post that's already made on the blog. So that hello world is always there. Let's trash it. Okay, that's now trash. Let's go to pages and do the same thing. Any kind of pages that's already posted to our, our blog, you know, our landing page, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and trash it. Move to trash. And another thing I like to do is I like to go to settings and then go to general. And where I say just another WordPress site, you can just write anything really just, you know, related to your site. I just put find the highest paying surveys here on our site and nobody's really going to see that. That's just for, you know, SEO purposes. So you just want to put something related right there. Then we want to get a page created. This is going to be our main page whenever people, and what we're going to do is we're going to make this main page our home page. So this is going to be the first page people see and really the only page people see whenever they come to our landing pages. 
let's go ahead and just put, I'm gonna just put survey 101 and you wanna publish that page. And after that, after that page is published, what you wanna do is you wanna go down here to settings and go to reading. Okay, after that it says a static page. Click a static page and home page, click survey 101. I click survey 101. You will, whatever you name your page, that's what yours would be. See, I got a static page right here. And then I, I chose survey 101 from my home page. Go down here, save changes. Okay, there we go. Our home page is now set. You want to do this. Whatever you do, don't forget this step at all because if you do, then people won't be able to see your landing page. So we are now ready, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're ready. We're now ready. A good thing to do before I actually go start building a landing page, um, a good thing to do, of course, is go try to find some kind of share buttons. Now it's going to be, um, it's not going to be, you know, the, the easiest thing to find, you know, super premium share buttons for free, but you can still find some good, um, some good share buttons. Just type Pinterest or Pinterest share. Let's see. Okay. Basically after you just got to choose one. Let's just click share. Uh, let's just click install right there. And you got to make sure um, Pinterest, the Pinterest one is installed. Activate. Of course, you can leave the other ones as well. You don't have to delete Facebook or anything else if you have that. Okay, it says that our share buttons is now installed. So it basically says, where shall they be displayed? Here we go. Floating over your website's pages. And you can just choose where you want them to be. Center top, I guess. See, make sure everything is set. Click save. Okay, let me see. Which icons do you want to show on your site? Okay, here we go. Pinterest. There we go. Choose Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. Okay, I'll keep that active. We'll just choose these. Choose Instagram, too. Click save. Sometimes you'll have um, cases where you know you do all of this some um, share button stuff and and it won't appear. A lot of times, if I have um, trouble with uh, with you know share buttons, a certain plugin, I'll just go search for another plugin. But of course, you know I'm not going to you know do that for the uh, for the sake of this training. You know, go around searching for plugins if it don't show up. But you know, definitely, um, you definitely want to have a Pinterest share button on your landing page, regardless, no matter what, because whenever you start getting traffic, you want people to share it, and that's how you make the most money by, you know, people sharing it like crazy. And like I said, sometimes I'll find plugins, share buttons that work, you know, for a month, and then you look on your website and the share button's not there anymore, so you have to use a different plugin. So you'll just have to keep up with that, you know, no matter what. Okay, so everything should be saved now. Let's go ahead and save it again, just in case. And one more plugin um, that I just remembered is the SSL one. So let's go ahead and install that. Add new. SSL makes your website safe and secure. Really simple SSL is the plugin that you want to install. It says it's installing, says it's now installed. Click activate. After that, we will go down and let's see. Let me see, let me see. Detected possible certificate issues, really simple SSL. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so um, it, it want me to do some extra stuff with this specific just because of my hosting account version, but I'm not gonna go through all of that, so I'm not gonna worry about the SSL right now. I want me to reload over and and whenever I did, it gave me an error page. So I'm not gonna spend too much time doing that, but definitely install the really simple SSL plugin so people will feel safe and secure whenever they land on your landing page. But what we're gonna go ahead and move on to is where it says pages, click all pages. After all pages, 
we want to go ahead and start working on our landing page. Let's go ahead and make sure Elementor is installed, which we already installed it, but let's go ahead and check it again. Let me see. Cause it ain't showing up right here for some reason. Okay, it says Elementor is active. So let's go to pages, all pages. Go to edit. Okay, so now that I click edit, it says edit with Elementor. That's what you wanna click. And it's time for action. It's time to go ahead and come up with a, uh, you know, a quick little landing page. You see how I got the survey 101 up here and you know a description, the description that I put. You don't you don't want that like that. So what you want to do is you want to click over here where it says settings. And then after that, you want to click on page layout and let me see, I believe it's the Elementor Canvas. Let me let me make sure. There we go. Elementor Canvas is what you want to choose for page layout and click update so it'll be a nice clean page just like this. There's my share buttons up there. For some reason, I don't know why this Instagram one is down here. We may have to fix that in a second. But now all you have to do is just come up with a nice little landing page. You can come up with a nice little description about your, uh, about your offer and you want to put some nice attractive photos and of course a call to action button that will link people to your offer. So let me go ahead and do that right now. So click the plus sign right here. After that, I'll just choose one of these little layouts right here. I'm going to choose this solid layout because this is going to be my logo up here. Heading, I'll choose heading. This is text. So I'll put Survey Club. Let me see, Survey 101. I'll just put Survey 101. And Alignment, I'll put Center. And I'll put H1, make it a little bigger. And of course, I can go to style and text color. I'm just trying to make it a different, maybe a different color. That color is not too bad right there. Okay. Let me see if I can um, change the text. Click right here. And you can just change the font. I usually try to find some kind of nice bold font whenever I'm whenever I'm building my landing pages. Uh, that's a nice bold font. You let's see letter spacing. Let me space the letters a little more. There we go. And I can click update. And if I want to, of course, I can go ahead and change the background also. Click the settings, style, and I can just choose a background color. Color, I can go right there, update. So you can see it's looking better and better already. And after that, what I can do is I can put a nice little, um, nice little description or whatever I want. What I'm going to do, how I'm going to lay it out is, I'm going to click Add Section, Add New Section, and I'm going to choose this one right here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a nice attractive photo um, right here, or maybe the description right here in the photo, or a photo description, whatever, whatever you want to do. You put a photo on the left or the right, a description on the left and right. But I'm going to put the description right here first, because on mobile, it's going to show up the description first. Whichever one you put right here, it's going to, people are going to be able to see first. So I'll put the description first and a photo right here. Let's go ahead and drag the photo. So what you gotta do is you just gotta just drag it over. See the image, I just drag it over like that. And then right here on the first spot, let me see. Okay, right here on the first spot, I'll just put text editor. Drag it over and there we go. As you can see now, it is ready to allow me to edit some text. With this um, current situation right here, with this background, I want to change the color of this text for sure. 
Let's see what's going to show up the best, though. No, black looks good. Black looks good like that. Click update. And I can go to Google. Make money with surveys, images. And now I can just find me a nice attractive, um, a nice attractive photo that go on my survey landing page. And you can do the same thing, you know, you can just search on Google. You don't have to, you know, create one on your own, just like I'm doing right now. I like this picture right here. Let's see, I'm just looking for a more high quality picture. This one is nice. Let's save this one. Make sure they ain't got no branding on there, nobody else's branding. Click save. After that, I can click on the photo, choose image, choose files, and I can simply upload the photo. And we are ready to go right there. Then what I can do is before I edit the text, I can go down here. I could choose another widget, the flat one, go over here and go to buttons, drag the button over and put it in the center. Right here where it says size, go to extra large. And where it says style, we'll choose a different color. Background color, let's see, a different color background. I like that red right there. And before we click update, we'll go ahead and um, let's say click here. I'm ready. Let me see. Sign up now. Or you can put I'm ready to get signed up. I'll put I'm ready to join now. Click update. And what I'll do now, I'll go to AdWork Media. And I go ahead and get that um, the link to the offer. And you would you would do every single bit of this right here. Every single bit of it. Of course, with your niche. Every single bit of it you would do. Okay, so what we'll do now is we will go to top campaigns. We was doing a survey junkie one. Top US campaigns. And let me go to survey junkie. Okay, click on it, go down here, and I'll get the short tracking URL. I'll go over here where it says link. I'll save right there. Now this um this button is connected with my CPA offer. Click update. And after that, you are ready to roll right there with this part. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pause the video real quick and come up with a nice description. And of course, you will come up with a description regardless of what your, what your um, offer may be. You will come up with a nice little short description. And you're about to see me do that right now. Okay, so I came up with a nice little short description. It says, many times in life, we all wonder if it's possible to make some extra money on the side. Well, I will tell you now that it is. With Survey 101, we will position you to start earning anywhere from $20 to $50 per day. I left that day. We will position you to start earning anywhere from $20 to $50 per day, and all you'll be doing is completing short surveys for large companies. If you are ready to make some extra income, get signed up free below. Get signed up for free below. That's all I did. That's, that's all it takes in order to, you know, keep things short and sweet so people will click through because the attention span is not really much these days, to be honest with you. So if you want to grab people's attention on landing pages, you got to make it short, to the point, and sweet. So that's exactly what I've done, and that's why you don't see my landing page completely packed with a bunch of stuff right now. If you want to add a few things here and there, you can. It's completely up to you. Maybe you're going to find a little video or a little you know, video that's related to the offer or whatever you may want to do on um, YouTube, or you want to, maybe you can maybe you can even make a short clip if you want to. It's completely up to you, but I like to keep things short and sweet and directly to the point. So now that my my CPA URL is linked to the button, I got a nice little photo on there, a nice little description, and my header right there. This is the landing page that I'm going to go ahead and roll with. And if I go over here to Survey 101, 
really hate that that, um, that that SSL didn't install, but we're not going to worry about it right now. But survey101.club, as you can see, here go my landing page. Let me look at it on a different browser. Survey101.club. Look how nice and to the point that is right there. This is nice, sweet, and to the point. All I got to do is click, I'm ready to join now. It will link them directly to our CPA offer. Let's go over here, though. I want to... Uh, I want to make a couple things stand out real quick. So what I'm going to make stand out right here is the description itself. So how you do that is you go to, let's see, hold on one second. Advance, go to border, border type. I like to do the, the dashed. See, look how nice that looks now. And I'll make it um, white. Look how good it stands out right now. So I got I got an outline now. Survey clip about 101. Probably have to um, clear your browser and never and able to see it. Okay, there we go. Look how nice and good this looks, and look how good it stands out. Look at this um, Instagram button though. We got to get rid of this bad boy. <laughs> Let's go over here and um, try to get rid of this Instagram share button because it will not leave from our landing page it's distracting our visitors so now I have to go to the settings and I have to remove the Instagram button survey club let's see okay let me clear my history just today. Okay, so the Instagram share button would not go anywhere for some odd reason right now. So what I would do in a case like this is simply find another um, plugin or I'll keep trying to mess with it to basically uh, make it work. But as you can see, the landing page looks amazing if you ask me, it's short, sweet, and to the point. So now that the landing page is ready to roll and ready to go, all I would do now is just prepare to have it automated on Pinterest. But remember, you know, I would never leave anything like this right here, this Instagram share button over top of my logo. I would never in a million years leave anything like that. But I've already updated. Maybe it'll take some time to update. And once it do, everything will be good to go. But our landing page is ready and it's ready for promotion on Pinterest. So in the next few parts of the training, that's what exactly what you're going to see me do. You're going to see me, you know, download the plugins that we need and everything that we need to make this happen. But just know that keeping your landing page short and sweet like I did is the ticket and is the answer. And as you can see, it is the ticket and is the answer to making a lot of money on Pinterest. And as you can see, I keep I kept things, you know, not too professional. And that's another thing when things are too professional, for some reason, people don't even want to go near it. But when it's short and sweet like this. You will, you will completely crush it on Pinterest. So it's ready to go now and make sure you keep your simple also and you, you, you'll do well. Trust me, you'll do well. But we're good to go right now with our landing page. Create your Pinterest account. As you can see, I went ahead and, you know, messed around with the, the share button some more and I got that Pinterest button, I mean not Pinterest button, that Instagram button to finally be removed away from our um, our logo up here to survey 101 and now I only left Twitter and Pinterest but you can you know put up here whatever you want I just wanted that Instagram um, icon away from our logo because that looked horrible and very unprofessional you know even though we don't want it too professional we still don't want it you know like a, a trashy landing page either so it looks like a very sweet landing page if you ask me straight into the point links directly to our CPA offer whenever people click through so I didn't want to go through the process of showing you how to create a Pinterest account because I'm pretty sure you know how to go to Pinterest.com and just get signed up. This, this niche Pinterest account is one that I already had. That's the good thing about it. I already had this one, but I never used it. So as you can see, if we scroll down here, I only have two pins posted right here. See, this one even got 12 views right here. No clicks. Whenever people click through your pins and um, you know click on them, this right here, this little up arrow will have a number. So if it say five, that means five people done clicked through and you know went to my CPA landing page. But um, but this one is already set up and I've never used it. 
So um, what I'll do right now is I'll show you some, some hot niches on um, Pinterest. Let's click search. Whenever you click search, if you want to see some of the hottest niches, look, look at what's trending right here. Of course, right now you got the Super Bowl trending and you got holidays trending. So that's, some, that's something to keep in mind. Quotes is, um, is always great on here. Let me see Snapchat, question game, science, you know, believe it or not, it's very popular. And last but not least, of course, food. Look at this. Food right here is the top two. But if I just type in fashion, it's major. All pins. Fashion is unbelievably huge on Pinterest. I mean, it's very, very big. Recipes is huge on Pinterest. Learning how to build things like little um, coffee tables and different things like that is huge on Pinterest. The coffee niche is huge on Pinterest. And of course, make money online is huge on Pinterest. So there's different niches and different things that's going to be huge on Pinterest. It's just up to you to really search around. That's what I highly recommend. Go, go and search Pinterest and see how, um, how good all the pins look, how many people is pinning the stuff, how many different websites is um, pinning the stuff. And whenever you see a bunch of people doing it, you, you, you probably will understand that it's a pretty hot niche to be in. Because Pinterest is, you know, not slowing down with growth. It is unbelievably huge. So most definitely look around when you are doing this. Look around. The coffee niche is unbelievably huge. I believe what's so crazy about this is I believe that CPA Grip even has a Starbucks offer. So imagine building a coffee Pinterest account. Listen, it's building a coffee Pinterest account, reposting a bunch of coffee and Starbucks stuff and linking them to your CPA landing page. So let's, could you imagine that? Could you imagine the, um, the power and the, the money that you'll, you'll begin making? Let's type Starbucks. Look at all of these Starbucks offers, right? I mean, these Starbucks um, drinks right here. All of these posts right here. You can repin all of these posts right here, linking people directly back to your CPA offer. That's what makes this method so powerful. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Every single pin that you are looking at can and will be linked to your CPA landing page. So if somebody come across, let's say this photo right here, and these photos are not even ours, we just repost them with our link. If somebody come across this nice, beautiful, attractive photo right here, they wanna make it bigger and click through. Instead of going to starbucksecretmenu.net, it's gonna to go to your CPA offer. Can you imagine the power? That's why this method right here is a set it and forget it method because once you end over a period of time, once you end up with a thousand, two thousand pins, understand that that's every single day people are going to be going to these pins of yours. They're going to be going to them, they're going to be checking them out, and they're going to be filling out your CPA offers. That's exactly what's going to be happening after you get so many pins. Look at all these unbelievable, unbelievable amount right here. It's just completely next level. So after you search around and view all niches within Pinterest, you are, you're basically ready to go once you've chosen your niche. Of course, if you already set up your landing page, you already know what your niche is, but just understand that it's, it's just completely next level on here. And more than a few niches has hopped. So even no matter what niche you chose, I'm pretty sure on Pinterest, you'll be able to find something very exclusive to you know, um, repin with your with your CPA link. You'll you'll be able to find some content. Trust and believe that, because Pinterest is not only hot for food and make money online topic and crafts and stuff like that. It's also hot for many other things, untapped things that you will be able to dig into and churn out a boatload of cash from your CPA offer. So please know that after you are ready to you know roll and after you have everything set up, your Pinterest account and go over here what you do is go over here to profile and you can um let me show you edit settings and you fix like your you can fix your username on pinterest your display name and all of that i'm gonna keep my photo just like this and you can just right here on claim you can claim a website that that can be your landing page website right there i'm gonna leave mine my blog brandonbelcher.net but after that you're, you're ready to roll with everything everything's ready to set up and ready to go and I'm going to show you exactly within uh, the next few slides exactly what you're going to do next in order to get things rolling and on the road. Install Pin Down for Chrome.
Okay, remember, if you want to use this method, which you don't have to use this specific part right here, but trust me, if you want to do things the smart way and the unbelievably powerful way, you will use this method right here. And what I'm talking about is mass downloading Pinterest photos by using the one and only plugin called Pin Down. It's 100% free to use, so you won't have to pay for anything. They do got a pro version, but I don't use it, so I'm not going to recommend that you use it either. So what Pin Down would do is you can go to a Pinterest board or type, basically type in a keyword, and if there's uh, 300 photos in uh, of, of coffee or 300 Starbucks photos or 300 you know, different fashion photos, you know, however many that you need, it will mass download all of these images. So let's say if I want to go to Starbucks Pinterest account and download 100 Starbucks images so we can repost with our CPA links, Pin Down is the only plugin, one of the only plugins that would do that. And I'm pretty sure it's the only working plugin right now that will actually allow you to do that. So the time that that will save you is different levels unbelievable trust me because if you want to find a hundred individual coffee photos it's going to take you a lifetime to do that or if you want to reshare a hundred different coffee photos and download them from multiple sources it's going to take you a lifetime to do that but when you can download all 100 photos or all 200 photos or however many you choose to download if you want to download if, if you want to download all of them at one time with pin down it's going to take you just a few minutes to make that happen and that's why pin down the pin down extension is, is so powerful remember this is a, a google chrome extension pin down is and it's 100 percent free to use i already have it you know um installed right now i have it installed on my google chrome browser so if you don't have the google chrome browser you most definitely want to get it no matter if you are using a mac or a pc get the, the google chrome browser so you too can install the pin down extension to once again download you know mass download pins you want to mass download pins because if you don't remember it's going to take you a very long time in order to get your content we have to have the content anyways that's exactly how this method is going to work overall so we have to download a bunch of images and we have to repin those images onto our Pinterest account and link each individual pin to our CPA landing page. And that's exactly when pin down comes in and makes all of this a thousand times more simple. So go to the Google Chrome store and search for pin down, or you can go to um, Google and type in pin down for Pinterest, you know, pin down extension or whatever. And you will be able to, you will, you will land on this very page right here and it will say install plugin and you will install the plugin. And after that pin down will be fully installed. Set up Tailwind. Okay. It's time to introduce you to Tailwind. This is the automator right here. This is the place where you can automate Instagram posts and Pinterest posts. So, of course, for this training, we are doing Pinterest, but you can do either Instagram or Pinterest using Tailwind, and it is literally the number one place on the web to go for Pinterest and Instagram automation. This one web app has literally taken some bloggers from zero to three or four million dollars a year by using their automation. So, when I tell you it's powerful, like it's really no joke how powerful this is because if you can cut out hours and hours and hours a day and automate everything trust me when i say this life is going to be so much easier when it comes to marketing trust me so basically tailwind let me tell you what what the difference is if you're working eight hours a day on scheduling um, on, on posting your content and linking your content to your cpa offers if you're working eight hours a day doing that manually well, Tailwind, you can chop it down to one hour a day. So you can make a full-time income with this whole entire method I'm showing you by working one hour per day. And that's just making sure your Tailwind is always operating. You can literally make a full-time income doing that. And that's why I'm glad that you, you know, made it this far with the training because that's my goal for you to just sit back, relax with your family and make a full-time income completely on autopilot and tailwindapp.com is the place that you'll go 
you know, on this part of training in order to start that automation. So since I'm already signed up with them, I'm gonna just go ahead and click sign up with Pinterest. Okay, so as you can see, I am now logged into Tailwind. Here we go. They even said that you can enable video publishing, which is next level powerful. So I'll be personally looking into that. But right now, as you can see, I am on the free trial with Tailwind with two accounts right here, a fashion one and my make money niche one. So if I click get plus right here, you will be able to see their pricing that you can do monthly for $14 a month or yearly for $119 per year. I'll probably honestly end up doing the yearly one myself, but it's just completely up to you with what you want to do for your automation. But you know, after you run out your free trial, it's, it's, it's no big thing or no major thing to just say, okay, um, schedule 400 pence per month, cancel at any time, $14 a month, or um, right here, get four months free plus schedule unlimited pins. Wow. I'll probably end up doing this one myself, to be honest with you. But yeah, but for just, just to start out, you can completely do the free trial and you can see how things work. You can get the feel of things overall with Tailwind because, like I said, it's just it's next level powerful. So what you are about to watch me do in the next few slides is you're about to watch me mass download some images. Then you're going to see me come back to Tailwind to automate those images by you know coming up with a, a short title description and also by using our cpa landing page you're about to see me do all of this in the next parts of the training but this is tailwind you could check around in the settings part and account settings and just add like you know all of that stuff and you know make sure everything is okay with that but after you connect your um you know you connect your pinterest account you should be good to go and everything should be fully connected so that's how you will always log in but most of the time if you type in tailwind it'll take you back to this page right here and it'll keep you logged in but if not you'll just reconnect every single time but that's all you have to do in order to get signed up with tailwind download your niche photos using pin down Okay, it's time for some mass downloading action. We are about to put the pin down extension to use and mass download some photos. So as you may already know, I chose the survey niche, you know, so that got to do with making money and people that want to make money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go search. Remember, whenever you are using pin down, let me show you multiple ways you can use it. I can search extra income. And I can go over here to the pin down, see this little red part, you see this little red thing right here? This is pin down. So you will see pin down at the top of your, your Chrome browser. You will see it right here, just be like a little, um, a little red pin. And if I click that little red pin, what's gonna happen is, it's gonna start mass downloading all of these photos right here. And it will mass download anywhere probably from 100 to three to 400 at a time. Sometimes more than that, which, you know, the, the more the merrier, the more the better, of course. So it's going to mass download all of these under the keyword extra income. If I type in fashion and then click pin down, it's going to ask me, do I want to download all of these fashion photos that will be linked back to my CPA landing page? This is unbelievably powerful. And this is something nobody else is going to tell you about. Nobody else is going to talk about this unless they charge you $9.99 for some training. And this is stuff that I personally had to figure out on my own. And that's, that's you know, me overall. Like instead of paying somebody $3,000 for some training, I would rather figure it out on my own and then teach people at a very discounted price. And that's been my goal and my, my whole mission for, um, for the past 10 plus years, you know, doing CPA marketing. But this is, this is massive. As you can see, look, all of these pins right here, can and will be linked to your CPA offer if you are in this niche. Or what you can do is you can simply say, let's type in Starbucks. Type in Starbucks, instead of all pins right here, you can go to people, click on Starbucks. I can go down here and click see all boards and or I can just choose an individual board. Look at all this. I could say, okay, this right here, Shop Starbucks, got 884 pins. I can click on this board. I can click pin down, and it will download, mass download, all of these product photos right here for, for Starbucks. 
all of these photos right here it will mass download for all of these products this is completely different levels of power right here look at all these 884 pins you can download with multiple pin down trials see 884 right here it detected 884 pins found it says and you can mass download all of those so that's how powerful pin down is so let's go ahead and put this in action extra income search okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click pin down right here and look this is how it looks when it's ready it says ready for action look right here let's rock all I got to do is push let's rock watch this what it's gonna do is it's gonna create it you're gonna see a bunch of photos downloading onto your computer but they're not gonna be scattered all over your computer it's gonna neatly put each individual photo inside of one folder so you will have a folder it'll create a folder on your computer and store every single image inside of that folder you know when I first um it's pretty funny because when I first done this I seen a bunch of images downloading and I started getting scared and try to stop it because I thought these images was just going to be downloaded all over my computer and I didn't know that it was all going to into one folder so definitely know that it's all going into one folder and you don't have to get you know scared and nervous like I did and try to stop it all you gotta do is click let's rock click OK and here we go look at here all of the images are downloading every single one of the images are downloading look at all of these photos right here and all you have to do is just sit sit back relax grab you a cup of coffee whatever you want to do while the images download all of this is content just every single image that's downloading just know that it's going to be linked to your CPA landing page for people to click on on your Pinterest account not somebody else's all we're doing is just resharing the images and link into our landing page no matter what the, the the pin say as long as it's niche targeted it doesn't matter so basically some of the pins is gonna say how I make a hundred dollars a day on Pinterest it's gonna link them to my survey landing page because it's niche related how you how to make passive income in 2020 it doesn't matter if it's saying that because it's niche related so basically what I'm saying is if you choose the Starbucks niche and post a coffee offer from another company or something as long as it's telling people that they can possibly win a hundred dollar Starbucks gift card if they if they have interest in coffee most likely they'll have some interest in getting you know a hundred dollar Starbucks gift card as you can see I have over 200 images already downloaded already so what I can do is I can stop this if I want to or I can keep it rolling okay it says limit reached 250 for the free version so if you're on a free version your limit is to download 250 images which is massive all you would have to do is you know 250 a month to be honest with you 250 a month and look the full version of pin down is only two dollars two US dollars per month in order to get the full version and of course you can download unlimited photos but as you can see all of our photos are now downloaded let's go into downloads look at this there we go every single one of our images right here look how nice the images look BAM here we go how to make money online and look at this every one of these pins right here are about to be linked to my landing page look at these like remember it doesn't matter if some I'm a little off topic as long as they're talking about making money or earning extra money or side income it's perfect as long as it's you know um, niche related that's all that matters people are not gonna say huh this says there's three apps that pay five hundred dollars I don't want to go to this survey page like people are not gonna think think about that all people see on this banner right here is five hundred dollars that's all they see they don't see nothing else but every single as you can see every single one of the images are right here inside of this folder right here so what you are about to watch me do is automate all of this using tailwind in the next parts of the training this is when the power is going to kick in and this is when the automation all begins put tailwind into action okay it's time for the funnest part it's time for the part where the automation begins this part I call it fun as you can see I got my nice landing page right here ready to catch some fire 
and get some traffic to it. So remember, Tailwind is going to be the place that's seeing more visitors to your landing page than probably just about anywhere else on the web when it comes to automation. This platform is unbelievably powerful and is changing lives every single day. Every single day there's been a life changed because of this very powerful web app called Tailwind. So what you would do is once you walked into Tailwind, you would simply go over here, over here to where it says Publisher. You click the down arrow and you will just schedule pins. Let's see. Right here on scheduled. It says scheduled. They're recommending that I will repin these. You can also do that. So basically repinning is posting stuff of other people's, but it's not going to link to your CPA offer. A lot of times, um, a lot of big bloggers say that's a good thing because if something is hot, see those flames right there? There's been it's pretty popular on um, on Facebook and Pinterest. So if something's real hot, they basically tell you to repin it because it's going to draw attention to your Pinterest account as well. So if you want to add that to the queue, you can if you want to, but it's not going to remember, it's not going to link back to your CPA offer, but it can make your Pinterest account look, you know, that much better. But just for this training, we're only going to focus on linking our very own landing pages to the pins that we downloaded using pin down. So once you are on scheduled, what you can do is click upload images and you will find the folder where everything went. So if you're on the, on the free account with Tailwind, which I am right now with multiple accounts, of course, you can only upload a hundred photos. So for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm upload 10 of them. Let's do 10 photos. So what you do is you can um, select all the photos at once. So if you're on a paid Tailwind account, you can select all 250 of these photos. Cause remember I had 250 total download. You can select, you can select all 250 if you want to, but for right now, I'm going to, I'm going to select, um, 10 of them. Click open. As soon as I click open, watch what happens. All of them quickly, unbelievably fast. They all upload. Now look at this. This one says file not found. I'll delete that pin. If it says that, just delete it. All of my pins that I just uploaded, all 10 of them are right here. Now there should be about nine of them. This is all you have to do. This, this has got to be the, the world's simplest method, but one of the most powerful methods of the whole year worth of training that I have for you guys. Because as you can see, all of those photos that we mass downloaded, not one by one, that we mass downloaded, quickly upload it and watch what we are about to do. So what I'll do first is I'll grab my landing page. This is all you have to do. Grab your landing page link and you'll go right where it says change pin source URL right there. Bam. Put that survey club. Make sure you don't put none extra. You'll change all the source URLs to your CPA landing page URL. If there's no URL there, just put your CPA lender right there and you'll be ready to roll. Choose all those. You have to do this manually now. I haven't found a way on Tailwind. I haven't, um, it ain't like I've been using Tailwind for three or four years. You know, I, I just ran across them last year. So, you know, I'm not, you know, super expert. I just know enough to get the money rolling in. So after you um, change all the sources, see? change source pin right there the source is right there our cpa landing page so whenever somebody click this image they'll go here whenever they click this image they'll go here and so on every single image is like that all the sources look like they are ready to roll and what you can do is to make this simple you can use the same um description for every single uh pinterest post of course they all different uh pins but you can use the same description. That's what I like to do. So for this one, I could just put, no matter if you are looking to make extra money today or tomorrow, this is the perfect site for you. Just something like that. I could just put something like that. And I'll just paste them. See? Paste 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 now the thing about this if you got 250 of these bad boys you have to paste it that many times like i said it could be a, a faster way but i haven't dug that deep yet because you know i'm a i'm personally a hard worker so 
if I know that something's going to set me free, I can promise you, I'll do this 2,000 times if I have to, which I have before. So therefore, I'll pace this 2,000 times if it's going to bring me X amount of dollars per day. And that's all you have to do is simply pace, 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 pace. When it comes to your description, you don't have to sit there and think of individual descriptions. Then you'll start wasting a lot of your time and it's just, it's not going to be worth it in the end. Because if you got a thousand pins, you'll have to sit here all day, every single day until you think out a thousand different descriptions. So I highly recommend that you just come up with a good niche targeted description and just paste it and paste it over and over for every single one of your pins. Make sure it mentions some nice keywords. See, I, I, I mentioned extra money right there, or I put extra income or whatever. But after that, what we'll do is we'll have to find our board. Now, I didn't go over boards much when I went, let me go over to Pinterest. And let me go, if you don't have your boards created, I didn't go over that much. You want to create your Pinterest board. So go to your main Pinterest profile, click on boards, and create a new board. See, right here on this board, I got wealth building. If I wanted to do something around, let's say, extra income, I could put that. Now, let me see. And just click create. And I can select some pins that I want to auto pin, of course, but I'm not going to do that right this minute because they want you to just pin other people's stuff. Or I can go back to profile, click boards. And I can create another board to say affiliate marketing or whatever I want to do. I can put surveys. If I'm in a coffee space, I could put coffee or Starbucks coffee and or Dunkin' coffee. You know, I can basically each board is like its own category and you want to keep it matching up. So I'm not going to have a weight loss board and I'm not going to be pinning make money online stuff to a weight loss board. You want to keep things niche targeted 1000%. So my board right now is the wealth. I got the wealth building, so I'm going to choose that. Or I could use the, um, I'll have to refresh this, but I could use the, um, the extra income one that I just made. But it says type of board name, wealth building. I'm just selecting wealth building on every single one of these. Every single one of these. So basically what's going to happen is every single one, see it's only 10 pins right here right now. Every single one of these pins is going to go to the wealth building board. I believe we're ready to go. What I'll do now is I will click add to queue. Add to queue. Each one of these, just click add. Add. Just, just do it to all I'm gone. Add to queue. Add. Okay. So now it says scheduled. As you can see over here on the right, what's so amazing about Tailwind is it's going to say, okay, today we're going to schedule one pin to go out. Tomorrow we're going to schedule three to go out. The next day, four to go out. The next day, five to go out. And they just keep on doing that. That's why Tailwind is so amazing. All of this content right here can do one of the following. It can stay, it, it can be scheduled out basically, or I can push it all out at once if I want to. See, I can click pin down right here on scheduled. It says nine, nine um, pins are scheduled. I can say pin now, pin now. I keep on doing this, pin now. So if I don't want them to schedule and I, want, I just want to mass blast them out, I can just click pin now on a massive level, pin now. So instead of tailwind scheduling these, I pushed them out on my own manually. So when I go back over here, it may take a few minutes or it might be instant. Let's see, 19 pins now, there we go. 19 pins now, and whenever I go right here, make it bigger, this is what people are gonna do. They're gonna click on the image, watch what happens. There we go, links to our CPA landing page. This is all you have to do in order to literally take your income from zero to $1,000 per day with Pinterest alone. By using Pin Down, by using Tailwind, by creating a nice WordPress landing page and by having a niche target offer with your niche targeted landing page. Please understand that by doing this, you can create and you will create more income than you will ever imagine by using this powerful method. This is unbelievable. This is completely next level. And remember, people are not teaching this for cheap. If you want to learn this from a Pinterest blogger that's making a million dollars a year because of Tailwind and Pin Down, 
you would literally have to pay him or her, whoever it would be, $9.99 to access this kind of training because they know, they personally know that this method is the heart and soul and the backbone to them reaching their massive fortune. So they are not going to che- you know, teach you for cheap. They're not going to teach you for cheap at all. So you would pay a minimum of $1,000 to learn what I just now taught you how to do. Please understand this is all you need right here. Even if this was the only month of training, I will let you know that this is enough to change your life forever. Once you start seeing all of those clicks and once you start seeing conversions rolling in back to back from your CPA, right on your CPA dashboard, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. This is an unbelievably powerful force and I am so glad that I was able to teach you this powerful method. Remember, the method works by mass downloading all of the images, by linking every single one of them images to your CPA landing page, and then scheduling those pins to go out on a massive level. While you're at the beach, they can be scheduled to go out. While you're relaxing, drinking some coffee, scheduled to go out. While you're watching Netflix, your pins can and will be scheduled to go out on a massive level. This is why this is so powerful. And I am so looking forward to hearing about your results with this method. You can look around Tailwind all you want. They even got little tribes. Tribes is like, you know, you join other people and y'all help each other grow and all of that. You can check your published pins. You can check your schedules. You can check insights. So if I click on insights, it'll say, it'll show me the organic activity on the pins. It'll show me top pins, website insights, board insights, profile performance, and everything. All of your stats will be listed right over here on the side. Please know, remember, once again, this is all you need in order to automate your income to $1,000 a day and beyond. If you want to upgrade your, your tailwind, I believe, yeah, it was, it was 19, 119 a year, which is I'm about to do that myself. That's all you got to do is just up, upgrade, you know, once a year or, or monthly, whatever you want to choose. So you can get much more out of this. I have multiple tailwind accounts, but I'm about to just choose one major account and just operate everything from that one account because I got a problem with creating 10 different CPA accounts, 10 different everything whenever I'm doing things and that becomes really messy and you know my mom done got after me before, my fiance done got after me before, you know people done got after me before over this so I'm really about to start niching things down and down and hammering down on you know certain accounts to run everything. That's what I want you to do as well. But this is all you have to do in order to start generating your income and to start really putting things on, on autopilot and operating things like the like the big boys do. The million dollar plus per year people do. I mean, one of my tail, listen to this, one of my tailwind accounts and one of my niches alone, it is in the fashion space. I started it last month and it's already at $25 a day, which is $750 a month. So this shows you the power of using this and it's completely next level as you may already know. So I'm super excited that you, you know, made it this far in the training because once you make it to this part, once you've made it here, trust me, you're going to really light things on fire and blast off like a rocket. And that's the beauty of CPA marketing and learning for myself because that's exactly what I want you to do. The name of the game this month is consistency. The more pins you post, the more people that will flood your CPA offers. Like every other month, stay at it and the money will follow. Congratulations, I would like to say a huge congratulations on this month's training. This is very important because you are almost one year in That means you've been so dedicated and committed to become super successful with CPA marketing. No matter what month it is, you always want to stay at it. You always want to keep testing. You always want to keep pushing because if your time has not come yet, it will come. If you're not already at $100 per day yet, it will come. You just may have to tweak a few things and keep on testing. I am so proud of you. I want to personally thank you with everything in me because when I first started out with CPA marketing, I was this committed. I stayed at it nonstop 
and I end up having five and nearly six figure days with the power of CPA marketing. So I'm super proud of you for completing this month's training and I'm looking forward to introducing you to more power in next month's training.